Let's talk about straps. Wearing a strap is really important when you're playing bass because it helps keep your bass in position and balanced so that you don't have to do that stuff with your hands while you're trying to play. So uh, here's how straps work. You can see there are these two little metal knobs here on the bass. These are called strap buttons. And all I have to do to affix um, most straps is you can see there's a little hole in the tabs at the end of the strap and that's where the strap button fits through. So I just find my strap button here and then stick it through the center of the strap. And if you have a brand new strap, this hole might be a little tight. You might even need to put a knife in there and make it a little bit bigger um, if you can't get the strap button through it. But that's how most straps will work. And then to adjust the length, again, there's more than one design here, but this is the most common one. You can see I've got doubled up material here and not doubled up material here. So the more I double up, the shorter it gets. The more I make non-doubled up, the longer it gets. So this is longer. If I want to make it shorter, I just pull on the doubled up side and make it shorter. And again, what I'm shooting for, let's see if I got it right just now when I was adjusting it, is to have the base hanging no lower than my waist. So this feels okay. I would actually go a little higher for myself, so I'll just double a little bit more of the material over. And then I've got it hanging. You know your strap is too loose if there's no tension on it when you're sitting down because um, it's not doing anything for you. So it should actually be hanging off your left shoulder. Like I said, there are a lot of different kinds of straps. This is the one I actually use with my PV Cirrus, which is what I take out on gigs most of the time. You can see it's a lot bigger and bulkier. It's got all this padded neoprene going on. And in particular, what I wanted to show you is I have something on here called strap locks. So these do not attach the way a normal strap does. I actually have special strap buttons on the base that allow this strap to lock into it so that it can't come off, which is really important when you're moving around on stage and you don't want your beloved instrument <laughs> falling out of your hands, crashing onto the stage floor. So um, some kind of strap lock design is great. These are called Dunlop strap locks. There are a few other designs you can check out, but that's the basics on the strap. Most important thing being, keep it somewhere between your ribs and your waist level.